Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another session. In last class, we were studying about scaling function. Scaling function is actually a function. At the input of that function, you get a raw value, and at the output, you will get an engineering value. So let's start working on programming side. We are opening up Semantic Manager. We selected ladder logic. We named the program as analog scaling, and then after that, you just press next over there and then it will take a while and then it open up programming interface you have to kind of select the hardware first because hardware here is very important now we will add analog input module in that particular rack we have so what we will do we will just go to the semantic 300 remember this software is very much useful for you to learn it is going to give you same as you know like you you have a rack and you are placing the things there so okay we have a library here we can pick up anything like now for example I go to the SM 300 you will find analog input modules are there and we have a gateway and different things are already there but we will not talk today on that side we will just take AI so what we will do we I just take AI from here and keep it here you see that no it's already there now remember you have to see here address starting from where 256 ending 2259 so that card have that much addresses so when you are selecting that sub channel from that particular card remember to use the addresses within that range otherwise you will you will get an issue there so uh, now go to the input side and see here we have a different measuring types based on whatever type of the instrument you are using you are actually gonna select that if you are using some instrument with 0 to 10 volt then you have to kinda use voltage signal for that and you have to select suitable option for that for now I'm just taking that current two wire signals and it's 4 to 20 milliampere so I just <coughs> <coughs> sorry so I just selected OK and it's now done I will just save it and after that we will go to the programming side so uh, to go to the programming side you know like we we have to go to blocks and we have OB here and here remember when how we we can actually select that particular scaling function right go to the libraries go standard library here and then go to the converting blocks this one and after that you will find your FC 105 and 6 so we will just double click that it will be here now remember we were talking about our address started for from 256 so I just started 256 PIW 256 and then after that what we are gonna write for high and low limit just consider the same example that we talk in last class where we have what we have uh, 0 to 300 level to control right so 0 is our low limit and 100 uh, sorry 300 is our high limit okay if you forget what we are talking about or if you are just watching that for first time I recommend you to go to the previous lecture and watch the last lecture to get saying what we are talking about so we have to kind of control 0 to 300 uh, are we are getting a signal from the field that is between 0 to 300 it's the time to scale it back to the engineering value so you have to kind of define like this and now if you know you know there are some uh, process parameters that are, have negative values and there are some they have only positive values and there's some they have only negative so it's very important to understand here like bipolar mean that fun that particular process parameter that have a negative values also like if you select that one high 
that time you will definitely get and you're telling that scaling block look we have some signal coming up that is actually gonna be bipolar that means that signal will have a po both positive and negative values so here you can tell that scaling block by selecting that particular bit for example if I give M0.0 .0 here if M0.0 .0 is 0 that mean we have a signal that have only one side of the values like only positive values and don't have a negative values but if you, s you have that M0.0 .0 as high you selected one for that at that time this guy is gonna tell that scaling function look we have values coming in both direct both you know like uh, on negative and positive side also then you can just select here MW2 and then after that for output remember we can only use double word so what we am gonna use here MD W uh, sorry MD M for memory and D is double word and then after that you can choose for instance I'm using MD6 okay so now you have scaled it this value is now properly scaled so what we will do remember now if you will go to that blocks here you will see that you have OB1 and FC105 automatically added so now if in the case you want to actually can I use that program I recommend you to download whole station so go here and just download it but now the question is we don't have a simulator running so it will not be downloaded first thing first turn on the simulator so simulator is running now and uh, we have simulator right in front of us and after that what we will do we have to select that and then download now it will download everything in that particular station you might be thinking why I'm asking you to actually download Semantic Manager 300 station instead of only blocks because we have a hardware here we have uh, different blocks here so I recommend you in that case to download all because we have to tell the simulator about, hard, about our hardware configuration also the blocks and the functions we are using so that's a recommended way out once you are done with that, go to the, your block that you are actually working on and after that you can just try, you can download it from here also if you want only one, uh, like for example if you have already downloaded your, soft, uh, your complete system from that Semantic Manager main download then you can just download only one that particular block if you have just updated that and then you can only later on update only or you can only download the specific block the one you have changed okay so now we we selected that watch sign here the so glasses sign from here then after that let's see now we have this guy running now yes you, you have here like this will read the raw value what we meant by raw value you can see here this is raw value coming up two seven how much is the value two seven six four eight right so when we will reach to two seven six four eight that time we will have maximum value after that it will stay same see two eight uh, zero zero uh, six uh, so, sorry two eight zero eight six it is giving us the same value so that's the scaling concept now if you are you, you have scaled that fine so if you're sending that value after you know like for example after processing to the PLC you are sending some command to the control wall so you have to kind of unscale based on for example that particular value you are sending some value to the some instrument out uh, out there some final control element like for example control valve then how you can actually send out that so then you have to kind of unscale it 
so for unscaling you have to use that FC106 okay so input for that will be definitely output of the scaled value right MD6 is that one okay and then we have to tell this guy our high range was 300 and our low range was 0 okay and then our function was m0.1 you can say or uh, you can tell m0.0 same thing and and then after that you are gonna use mw for example 688 okay I will say use 10 because word takes 4 uh, sorry double word takes for numbers here so 6 and after that if you add 4 that will be 10 and then MW12 so we have implemented unscale function and now is the time to go to the semantic manager I would recommend go to the blocks and you see there FC106 is also added here go here better download all if not then you can utilize only blocks because we have changed only blocks but I'm downloading it all so if you want you can only download from here also it will work okay now is the time to go to the ladder logic here what we have implemented and after that you can just turn on that watch and see what's going on here so just run from here and see the magic start from this value st value starting from zero you see we are getting engineering value at the output by engineering value I mean the value that is coming from the transmitter actual value like level between zero to three hundred what we discussed last time so whatever the actual value of the level is gonna come here as engineering value and that will be output of the scaling function you can see here 150 is actually actual value coming from the instrument this is raw value at the input and at the output you are getting engineering value actual process value so when you take out signal from the PLS from the instrument itself then you have to pass through that scaling function and but if in the case you're sending out some process parameter or you, you're sending out some analog signal to the final control element in, 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 in the field itself so what you will do at that time you're gonna use unscaling function unscaling function is a, you can say in word of the scaling function so in the scaling function you take in an input as a raw value and an output you're getting engineering value in unscaling function you're gonna take engineering value as input and raw value as your output so FC 105 is used as a scaling function and FC 106 is gonna use as unscaling function you see here we are getting this value as a raw value here and that is input here and we are getting output as 158 point something and that is that is you can see engineering value so that engineering value is now becoming as an input you can see and we are getting output as a raw value so that's how scaling and unscaling functions work in next upcoming classes we are gonna use the PID stuff we are gonna use other stuff to actually you know work with analog signals like arithmetic operations making formulas or actual programming you know in the p in the in the industry some examples will come in here for that all you have to do is stay connected with IT and automation academy because it's gonna give you a lot of stuff we are gonna talk about VFTs we are gonna talk about RAM function design we are gonna talk about PID stuff we are gonna talk about panel designing in upcoming sessions we are gonna talk about PLC uh, advanced topics we are gonna talk about DCS stuff SCADA stuff industrial IOT 
industrial uh, cyber security you can say and for that all you have to do is stay connected with IT and Automation Academy YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe this channel to you know in order to not miss any of it, any of the video from IT and Automation Academy stay happy wherever you are and take care of your loved ones Salam alaikum